Welcome back, everybody. Today we are beginning a commentary playthrough of Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. If you happen to be new to the channel or have just forgotten, I'm a real pilot and a former air traffic controller. I've played several of the Ace Combats previously. I... I can't remember which one it was, but it had a, a Puddle of Mud song as like its main marketing thing. The, the song was called Blurry. If you ever listen to, uh, you know, uh, Puddle of Mud and the song is called Blurry, B-L-U-R-R-Y, uh, that, that was the main song that was the marketing push for this one Ace Combat that I remember playing most recently. And... I've played a few of the other ones in the past. I mean, my my <laughs> my my love for the uh, like the A10 is well known over on the main channel, and so many of those games. In fact, I think all of the ones that I've played have allowed you to play or to use a, an A10 Thunderbolt uh, 2 at some point, and so that's man, that's that's right up my alley. Um, my history with Ace Combat Seven, I started it right when it first came out, and I think I started it on PlayStation 4. Um, the Some of the voice acting uh, I couldn't get into. I even did a short about this that I called uh, Blunt Force Dialogue <laughs> is the name of the short. Uh, but the point is I got maybe an hour in and bounced. I just didn't have the time, and the story wasn't hooking me the way that it had. Um, so... I, you know, this was, this was kind of in my hiatus from, from gaming years ago. And so now I've got the time and I, I'm still interested in the story and, uh, you know, seeing what aircraft I can unlock. I recall that the aircraft unlocking is a, it's like a tech tree. It's not as direct as it used to be in this game, but, um, either way, I mean, the Ace Combat series is the arcade airplane game for people these days. And it's, uh... Uh, you know, you're you're just always interested to see what they do with it. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, I've done some tweaking of settings here that I just want to make sure are sticking. Uh, display, I need knots. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then graphics, everything should be fine there. I am playing, I'm playing through the Steam version. Uh, so I'm playing on PC and I'm using a PlayStation for controller um and i had started the campaign just a little bit to make sure that the graphics and everything were working out okay i was having some real problems with kind of graphical fidelity on this um and i'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more as we go here but we will start this from the beginning i will put a link to the full playlist for this ace combat 7 playthrough in the pinned comment check that out uh if you're interested in the rest of the videos here we go. Go normal. Standard difficulty setting for those who are used to Ace Combat's controls. The difficulty cannot be changed partway through. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean air defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. <laughs> know what? Oh, B2's Bugs in the boneyard. In the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. A6 Some intruder. Of them have been mothballed, but most of them Final are just piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. She had an F4 Phantom Grants in there. was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. F-105 Thunder Chief, maybe? I mean, me, my grandpa, 
and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. <laughs> but with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. <laughs> Laugh at it all you want, kid. Yep. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. <laughs> then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Yeah, quite literally. They took the time to build one of the most notoriously unstable aircraft ever. fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 G's at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. 30. It had a rose painted on it. The Erujan emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should have been my best with piece of junk. Should have built a deterrent too. Interesting. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. <laughs> you have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier. Our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Hmm. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. <laughs> if the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. <laughs> okay, Operation Deerhorn, Operation Objective, take down the hostile bombers. Um, okay. Yep, that's where we'll be taking off. We'll be following Clown. Looks like we got Knocker, Brownie, and then a couple Golems. And then we got a TU-95 bomber that is our target. Okay, um, excuse me. The, you know, the briefings on this, there are so many well-qualified 
actual like military members who make gaming content that could make that sort of thing more um accurate like <laughs> not so cheesy <laughs> i'm one of them sure but i mean there there are there's a lot of us uh, who could do any of, like whatever you guys paid the voice actor for the mission guy there, it was too much. Um, okay, let's see here, start mission. Now we get to pick some aircraft here. Now I do already own a couple. I think that we had some of these for um, like DLC from the game. Yeah, the, the F-104, ooh, it looks like they got a cannon mounted in this one, interesting. Um, yeah, drag racer into the deep blue sky because the aircraft is not equipped with any weapons It can only be used in free flight mode. Oh interesting. It looked like there was a cannon on it there um, But maybe not is that not a cannon on the right or on the uh, left right there? I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with the airframe, but that certainly looks like a cannon port So anyway, uh, we'll probably end up flying the f-16 here. I do have whatever that atrocity is and then I've got some sort of war crime right there, and this thing. I don't, I don't even. I don't even know. Um, we're not going to be using any of those, um, so we're going to go F-16. And the uh, four air-to-air -air missiles here, we can use this. All right, and uh, yeah, sortie. Let's go. Mage squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Charge assault. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Mage squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage squadron. <laughs> all right. Call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Call, Mage 2, clear protection. Call sign is Mage 2. Alright. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have free to go. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with Mage 1. I'll have to see... Good luck. I'll have to see if there's a way I can turn off the heat effect there. Whoa. Mage two, form up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Okay. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem four, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Okay. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. <laughs> Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Okay. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Nope. I refuse. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. Uh. A good pilot, or so I told them. I had to fill an empty spot, oh, oh, oh. so play along. It's still a leash, though. There we go. This is a pretty radar. See if you can locate the enemy. a pretty game. Uh pressing what will change the range of the radar. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, that's not it. I don't even know what that button means. Oh, there we go. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. I don't I don't understand what I need to do. How do I turn that back off? I don't oh there we go. Okay. Phew! Controls are a little interesting here. That's all right. Playing on a gamepad. Hang on. Let's see if there is. Mm, no. Nope. All right. That's okay. Just gonna see if there's a way I could turn off the heat effects, but ultimately not that big of a deal. You know, this was you know particularly for people who don't have like a supercomputer. You know, a game, a game like this is likely one of the prettiest. Round. 
the uh Got him. Oh. There's one. There we go. All right. Why to change my target? Target confirmed down. Looking good, Mage Two. Okay. Mage Two, targets in range. Pair of bombers. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. <laughs> you guys are all just mean. Now, knowing the interception angle here, I'm going to try and follow, fall in behind him. There's one lock, two, three, there we go. Perfect. By golly. <laughs> Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage Two. Not too shabby, Mage Two. But you still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Thanks, Knocker. Skykeeper, this is Mage One. Over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, their trigger. Settle down. Mage Two, maintain your element with Mage One. Do not break off. Mage One, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Go, go. Column Two, let's maintain element. Commander, I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Of course, your name's Brownie, of course. I should point out, if you're not familiar, Wilco means understand and will comply. Wilco. Common aviation vernacular there. Um, I'm also going to point out, like, I did not uh, fly anything super interesting for the military. Um, so I'm not going to be critiquing, like, the, you know, Fox 2 when it should have actually been a Fox 3 or anything like that. I'm not, uh, I'm not the, oh, I'm not the expert on that sort of stuff, so, when in doubt, I just use guns. I don't want to use my special, there we go. Let's go with the old, still, a MiG-21, still airborne. There we go. Oh, we got more of them. No, oh, we got two. We got a big old group. We'll go try to deal with this guy, and we'll head down for the other targets. We'll let the fighters, you know. Whoops. We're coming. We got other stuff going on. It's busy. We busy. Whoa. Man. Settle down, knocker. We don't want to fire from this angle. The missiles, you, you could you could dodge missiles at that angle, even in a big old heavy bomber. There you go. We're fine, we're fine. Wow. Okay. We well, only got one of, the, one of the good missiles left here. Boop. Okay. Just enemy for the column and mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. All right. Good going, mage two. Flight commander looks like he's got what it takes. I like you. Let's slow down. It's just one sword. I like you, clown. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece. You hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. <laughs> Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? 
Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Okay. What? <laughs> Got a full full replay if we want. Look at the birds, beautiful parakeets or something. I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip this. Okay, high capacity air to air missile. Yep, lots of missiles we had right there. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping forced bases all over the Yuzhan continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Okay. Not too bad, I would say. 16, 16 targets. Aircraft tree has been unlocked in campaign mode. Okay, I can now equip upgrade parts in campaign mode. Exciting stuff. Next mission. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. Hmm. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Okay. The world was screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Arusia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. 
When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. <laughs> In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. Hmm. Handy. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Yeah, I mean, so its gun was aimed at the yard. Seems this about right. was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out <laughs> and set the dogs on me. Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Eruja are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. 
If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. No problem. All right, uh, man. I just got. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta get into the story. Like Erusia and Eugia and <laughs> they just. They just vomit story at you and man I just uh, I'm not invested to be real honest with you I, I don't even recall what country I'm fighting for at this point <laughs> or where it was on that map I think we're <sighs> you know what you know what the story is the story is fly your plane and go capture the space elevator all right here we go. Radar vehicle. We got some ground targets. APCs, it looks like. Anti-aircraft gun. Okay, okay. You can obtain aircraft weapons and aircraft parts at the aircraft tree to gain the upper hand in missions. I also want to know how, like... The space elevator being a valuable asset in the concern about energy. How, how are you using the space elevator to generate energy? I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I think you could do it. Like if there was something like a, like a, I mean, you know, they call it a space elevator and that's fine. But if you, if you think about something inside it, that's like a huge, a huge sled that's going up and down, like generating, you know, force generating kinetic energy as it's moving or, you know, storing up potential energy as it's not, or maybe even static energy, just depending on what it is, you might be able to harness that perhaps or maybe there's you know wind opportunities as you get higher like up into the jet stream being able to harness the jet streams wind energy i don't know all right aircraft tree let's see what we got here points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches they can be exchanged for new aircraft special weaponry and upgrade parts of the aircraft tree you receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete and in multiplayer mode uh, for each match you play okay um aircraft on the uh, aircraft tree items on the aircraft tree are connected by lines to unlock an item you usually need to unlock the item before it on the same tree sometimes however uh some items however require you to meet certain conditions before you can gain access to them when you require new aircraft you will automatically be given a special weapon but the remaining two need to be purchased uh, spend that stuff wisely as you cannot dispose of any aircraft weaponry or upgrade parts once you have uh, obtained them aircraft and special weapon types aircraft types fighter with um, great maneuverability yep multi-role adapts well to a variety of combat situations and attacker sturdy aircraft capable of excellent anti-surface combat which is probably going to be all we fly most of the time frankly that's fine special weapon types air to air right air to surface and other possesses characteristics that belong to neither of the above categories Speed, mobility, stability, air-to-air, air-to-surface, and defense. Okay. Aircraft special weaponry and upgrade parts have varying costs that only apply in multiplayer mode. All right. Well, I'm not worried about that. I have un... Okay. MiG-29. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Oh, something. All right, so we've got our F-16. What is this? Hang on. This will be unlocked when you achieve the rank of Airman First Class. Okay, so there's like a rank system here too. F-14, that's exciting. 70,000 credits or, yeah, credit things. Large carrier-based fighter that can carry long-range anti-air missiles. Its automatic variable wings allow for superior air com combat at all speeds and altitudes. The Super Tomcat is derived from the A model. Oof. All right. Well, it is the D model, so that's good. Uh, but then you have parts that you unlock to it. Icing defense. We we have concerns about icing on our on our aircraft. Okay. Up oh, A10. There we go. 
don't have a whole lot of unlocks. There's nothing after the A10 on the tree, you know? <laughs> what is this? F2A, a multi-role aircraft based on the F-16 designed with its country's needs in mind. It shows its greatest strength in interdictions at sea and can hold its own in aerial combat. Its unofficial name is Viper Zero. MiG, oh gosh, jeez, sorry. I, I recognize this is disorienting, but this is like, it's disorienting for me too. Um, all right, we'll go for the F-4, hang on. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't have enough to do the research. Do I need to unlock the bombs? Is that what you guys are saying? Guided penetration bomb, short range aerial suppression, air to air missile. I don't even know what I need to unlock here at this point. MiG-29, I don't have enough for. So I think I'm, I think I'm just flying the F-16 again. Yeah, 10, it'll, that'll give us 10 of these bombs. Bombs that home in on a locked target, designed to explode once they've penetrated the target's armor. They are potentially devastating. Sure. We'll, we'll spend some, spend some cash. Spend some cash to unlock that. What the, what the heck? Oh my gosh, what even are these things? These are ridiculous. A large multi-role fighter and an experimental Belkin aircraft later completed by the Allied forces. Loaded with equipment such as high output lasers and multi-use airburst missiles. It's an incredibly diverse fighter. Codename was Morgan. This was codenamed Falcon. Capable of stealth, loaded with high output lasers, and fuel air explosive bombs. All right, whatever. I don't have any of that. We're going uh, probably F-16 here. Let's see. Yeah, F-16. And I guess I'll go with the uh, laser guided bombs. Yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Squadron, sorry, ASAP. If you haven't seen my videos that mentioned it previously, uh, there's a, oops, I'm sorry, I bumped the microphone. There is a, uh, a pretty good movie. The, the first two movies were pretty good, but they're called Iron Eagle. And the, f Destroy the, target. the first one, at least. HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damages to be done to public facilities. But, uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. <laughs> uh, the the point is that the, the first movie, at least, focuses on um, Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? F-16s. should be close. Yep. So what do I, does this actually lock? Yes, it does. And what was it to fire? Nope. 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 Did the wrong thing. What base? Aren't you guys in the middle of like a city? What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> okay, now how do what do I do to fire this thing? Come on now. I have seemingly forgotten how to fire. We'll get there. Targeting range of guns. There we go. All right. Shit. Where are the damn interceptors? Target destruction confirmed. <sighs> it's popping off now, Trigger. The war has officially begun. Okay. Okay. We are slinging these things out their ways. I mean, yeah. My discretion? <laughs> I decline. <laughs> My discretion is not right now, thanks. 
Yeah, misses, huh? Ooh, there we go. That's exactly how you do that. Oh. Okay, so there are... Transports taxiing, huh? Sure would be a shame if something bad happened to him. Okay. Well, we're gonna be dealing with some drones, I suspect, here. Whoa! To keep my mind focused, you got stuff like that going on. C-17 surviving missiles. Psh. These things are held together with duct tape and hope. Which isn't overly unusual, to be clear. <laughs> That's like most military equipment. Can't tell which way he's going. There we go. Uh, Another missile. Oh, missed one. Shoot. All right. Come on. Wow, jeez. Oh. Whew. They got Apaches? They scrambled Apaches. I mean, I can't even say that I blame them. Oh, wow. I didn't think the missile... I didn't think I'd be able to get a missile lock on on the ground. Right. I'll take it. <laughs> what were they carrying? Why don't... Why don't you guys tell me? It's a bad angle. There we go. All right. The clouds don't just affect your field of vision. They also mess with your HUD and radar. The Seekers can sometimes lose their lock on to their targets, too. On target six. We can aim over clear ground. School three, test the payload now. Golem one, enemy will crash in a residential area. Just worry about staying alive for now. <laughs> Five targets remaining. Okay. Got him. So what's the target on the ground here? What are we after? Control tower? All right. So air traffic controllers didn't do nothing, man. They were just clearing people for takeoffs. Well, we'll catch him. Oh, jeez. All right. Hang on. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I'm struggling with the controls so much, but man. Whew. I think we might have ripped our wing off on his wreckage right there. Oh, gosh. You know what that was? That was a mistake. <laughs> it's called controlled flight into terrain right there. Boy, I, I hope there's, yeah, checkpoint. Thank goodness. No. Oh. That, the checkpoint was just the beginning of the mission? <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. But uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Mage 2, locking. 
Did I? I didn't drop the damn bomb, did I? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Why am I struggling with these controls so much? This is a Alright, circle. It is circle on my PlayStation controller to shoot the main weapon. Circle. Alright, I would wager that this is disorienting to watch because I'll be honest with you when I tell you it's disorienting to play. Um, I do apologize. Did we miss the one, really? Did I hit the wrong button once again? Is that what happened? I don't think so. I don't know what, I don't, I don't even care about the missile. Power lines. Um, okay. I must have tried to drop while I was inverted. Couldn't get another missile loaded up and ready there. That's all right. The fact that we have, you know, 68 missiles, 70 missiles all total on this is bonkers anyway, so. Let's see, we got the one rolling already. There he goes, good. Oof. Yeah. There are residential areas. Drugs. Big old drug dealers. Target. Oh yeah, the tower. I can I can hit shoot a sidewinder into the tower. My gosh. Those, those poor controllers. All right. Hopefully some of my friendlies will do some things at some point with some stuff. Call me crazy. Obviously, a little gun shy flying this thing towards the ground. Hello there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Uh oh. Bolts are free. Yep, yeah, UAVs. Alright. Heckin' UAVs. Think about the amount of force that they have to get to be generating lift when they get shot out of those things. Multiple bogeys on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. 
They're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look and move, they gotta be drones. Well spotted, Cloud. No doubt about it, we're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. Enemy drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. I've never heard of high G turns. I don't even know what you're talking about. Cause continual deceleration. Well, all right. Oh. Hey, you guys need language on the radio. Yeah, as someone who like you know had to actually talk on the radios in like life and death situations <laughs> the way that they just tell you the whole story via like you know they're uh just just talking at each other oh, of course yeah the rain right that's that's absolutely a thing You got it. Missile launched. So drones don't feel a G force, huh? One to go. Let's get through this without any casualties. Uh... Careful of ice Oops. in the clouds. Oh, okay. <laughs> See so also get Oh boy. I'm glued to this one. They won't show up on the radar. Uh, ice is yeah, but at the speeds we're operating, icing is not gonna be a big problem for you. Lock broken by the clouds. That's weird. I haven't heard that one repeatedly. There we go. Whew. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. Should we continue destroying this no base? We have done any this, to base? This base right here? All these know. bad guys? Maybe the bandits we took down cost civilian casualties. Ugh. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. I really hope they don't just make Brownie like the, the cliche docile female character target is on rails, but still I don't on know all right targeting pod targeting pods used when taking out missile sites okay you've given us air superiority by destroying their radar the first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive let us reclaim what is ours okay C rank, oof. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll press on here. Let's see what the next one is. Two pronged strategy. Intriguing. The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, 
So, expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. <laughs> right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal Birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. Okay. Uh, yeah, take down the bandits. Operation Dual Wielder. Hmm. Okay, okay. Battling some Phantoms, some F-16s here. Interesting. Uh, aircraft tree, can we unlock anything? What are we at? Where's the amount? 107,000, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. F-14. Yep. Boom. Glamour shot. Love it. I should point out that I don't have the Top Gun DLC for this. I mean, if it was free, then maybe I got it or something? I'm not real sure. Um, Yaw Mobility Plus. Uh, new rudder actuators. Air-to-air -air missiles. Long-range missile. Okay, so I could go... What do I have? All right, I'm going to get... I'm going to get the... Eight air-to-air -air missiles. Basically, the it's kind of like a Phoenix, but I think the Phoenix was limited to just six targets, if I remember right. And then we'll go ahead and get the mobility increase. Yeah, there we go. Icing defense. F-18, love it. And the A-10. Perfect. Uh, okay. That's what we're going to be flying this time. See what we can do here. F-14D. I like it. Now, yeah, okay, so they made the Phoenix the long-range air-to-air missile. Air-to-air lock-on missile. Extremely long-range air-to-air missile. Homing capabilities limited if the target evades one, a decent pilot can still pick the target off. But, so, okay. All right, well, that's all right. Let us launch, please. Eight squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Whoa, things got some elaborate pods, I guess, for these missiles. Interesting. I should also point out, you know, this is talking about the, <laughs> this is talking about the, uh, whew. So then my wings are extended again. Um, this is talking. Got it. Mage one to column one. Thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys if we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Offensive. Once you hit one of them, stick to them like blue. Don't let them out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so your first hunting season begins. Crap, out. Uh. Ooh. Well, again, that, that Phantom dodged four missiles right there. That was incredible. Um, 
I forgot what I was even going to say. Um, oh, uh, aircraft carriers. Yeah, the uh, if you if you weren't aware, you know, there's, even in this story, they're discussing like, oh, they they wiped out some of our carriers, but we still had two carriers, and so we're all good. Like, you know, when you think about like major world, you know, threats, uh, Russia, for example, they have one aircraft carrier that is broken pretty much all the time. <laughs> like. Having been a former member of the military, like, the always discussions about, like, oh, what a, what a huge threat Russia is and stuff, like, you know, we've seen, uh, you know, their, their, their weapon, or their military is not everything that we thought it was, uh, but they also <laughs> got, um, you know, one aircraft carrier, so, anyway. Just a brief observation there. And I am confident this is disorienting as heck. F-16s. Of course we only dogfight in the clouds. Why wouldn't we? I'm gonna shake that. Good, sir. Um... Huh? Oof. It's remarkable how many of these aircraft can survive, you know, missile hits. Alright. Missiles. Somebody get them. I think we all know that they're... Boom. Okay. Anything else we need to do here? They're like those look like flamingos. I think we had we had flying flamingos up here. That was our aircraft? I don't know. <laughs> I am just genuinely confused by a lot of things. Are we? Will we? I'm not sure, man. I couldn't fire. I must not have had. Pilots see something this big flying around. They're not going to be like, God help us. They're going to be like, that thing's going to fall out of the sky if you damage it at all. <laughs> like, yeah. I love, I, I love the idea also of, you know, all of the, the, the airborne weapon systems that Ace Combat is famous for. What if? What if? I'm not aware, I guess, of like, uh... Nope. Probably be paying more attention to what I'm doing. Let's see here. Okay, I don't seem to be hurting this thing a whole lot. Uh, 
There we go. There we got a few of them. What's it doing? Ooh. Of course it has a shield. Skeleton squadron is down. We've had too many losses. All squadrons, command has ordered a complete withdrawal. Leave the operation area immediately. What? Brilliant observation. If they noticed earlier, more of us would have survived to hear it. Save your chatter for the debriefing. <laughs> Mage squadron, give our allies some time to escape. We'll go. But Gollum 2 is hit. Gotta send her back. Let's get dirty, Trigger. What are we doing? Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. All right. Gollum 2, head back to base. Gargoyle 1, escort Gollum 2. Continuing the mission. Still got my wings. Uh. Trigger doesn't need to fill in for me. I'm back and I... You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Copy that. I've got to point Turn out home. that uh, Japanese writing, or... Uh, I, I, won't, I won't say that. Um, some storytelling... Um, particularly from certain cultures, is uh, a little sexist. I can't recall what game it was, but there was discussion about how the main character of a game could not possibly be female, um, because if she was female, she'd have to wear a skirt. And the game... The game required climbing, and so they're like, no, 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 no. The main character had to be a guy, because if it was a girl, she'd be wearing a skirt, You'd be able to look up her skirt, it'd be super weird. They, they didn't, they, th this was a, a Japanese developer, if I remember correctly, and like they, they're just, they could not possibly fathom that uh, a, a, a main character in a game who is female could wear something other than a skirt. And uh, that's just like, you know, they're making, they're making brownie here out to be, you know, the lady. The lady to be protected by all the guys and she's she's hot headed and she's gotta get back and cool off. Like I'm I'm the father of a four year old little girl and like you just start to notice a lot more of like the sexist crap that's everywhere out there these days. Or even just discriminatory generally. I mean whatever you're you know, there are a lot of people who have different what are we doing? Is this is this what I'm supposed to do? What the hell? Call him two. Status report. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Just talk to me. Oof. I'm against an SU-30. Which wind tips? I can't shake it off. It's matching me move for move. Call him two. Stop dogfighting and run. <sighs> <sighs> but uh, you know, you end up just noticing a lot more of that stuff. Mage two. Okay. Yep, probably. I don't get it. Why isn't it opening fire? Baiting the rest of us. Oh god. <laughs> this is not good. Brownie, break off. You think, you think Brownie's been actively engaging this whole time? Page <laughs> two, missile launch. Oh, oh, oh. I might stop. Page two, locked. Tell us a good job, page two. We want as many guys out here as possible. I'm grateful you're around. Go up two, what's your status? Status report. He's a predator. She's been trying. I don't even know where she got shot down. Splashed. 
Okay. I said what I had to say. About what? I'm not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. <sighs> that was the right decision at the time. No, I should have never let a fledgling like her out of my reach to begin with. Oh my god. Golem squadron, maid squadron, withdraw. Fancy. The deck is clear. H2, you are clear for landing. We are, uh, you guys are set, setting us up for failure. Sit lined up like that. Two miles to carrier. H2, bank right. Got it. No problem. One mile to carrier. Okay. Pretty okay here. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. You barrel roll it in. Yeah, Rube taught me this one. And, uh, uh, we got it. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? That was close. That was close is what that was. Nah, I'll just skip this time. That's fine. Let's see. Rolling. Yeah, rolling is good. Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Whoop. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffer heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home situation is grim we have precious little time however we have to get to the space elevator why <laughs> why do we need what why <laughs> all right we're gonna we're gonna end this one here and um yeah if there's an episode two, then you'll know that I decided to power through and continue playing. Um, and, and if there's not, then you know that I could not motivate myself to get into this game at all. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I appreciate you hanging in. Uh, I, I found myself dizzy sometimes with, with the dog fighting, so I cannot imagine that this was overly enjoyable to watch. I, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I, man. I'll, 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 uh, oh, I'm going to definitely take a bit of a break and just kind of think about if this, if, if this is what I want to do a, a commentary playthrough of. I looked up on the how long to beat thing. It's like an 11 hour game. If you just kind of hurry and yeah, I just, uh, I don't know if, if I want to, if I want to make 11 hours of my time, like if I, if I want to try and find 11 hours of my life to play this, <laughs> so that should tell you how much I've enjoyed it thus far, but you know, this, maybe it'll come around or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, either way, I do appreciate you being here and hopefully getting a good laugh out of some of this hilarious dialogue and story. And uh, either way, they've got lots of other commentary playthroughs of much better voice acted games. <laughs> anyway, uh, on the channel, check them out when you're bored sometime. And of course, thanks for watching.